The Great Salt Lake in Utah is an important resource for wildlife, recreation, and industry. But in recent decades, the lake has been shrinking as the water level drops. You'll often see the level of the lake given in terms of a number such as 4,194 feet. But this refers to elevation above sea level, which doesn't tell you the depth from lake bed to surface. So, just how deep is the Great Salt Lake? Most people we asked thought the lake was between 100 and 300 feet deep. In fact, at its deepest point, the lake measures a mere 25 feet. To help you visualize just how shallow the lake is, we built a 25-foot pole and took it to a few recognizable spots around Salt Lake City. Imagine the vast area of the Great Salt Lake and consider how its depth compares with the height of these landmarks. You can see why a slight change of just a few feet in depth, either up or down, can have large effects. Of course, the lake hasn't always been so shallow. It's had some wild changes in depth over the millennia, and the lake's size fluctuates naturally with seasonal and long-term weather patterns. But for the last 20 years, the Great Salt Lake has been in a long, steady decline, partly due to drought, but also from new housing developments, farms, and industries that divert water from rivers that once fed the lake. This is now having potentially severe consequences. First, receding water levels expose large sections of lake bed and microbial reefs that support the lake's ecosystems. Microbial reefs are a source of food and habitat for brine shrimp, Utah's state crustacean and one of the Great Salt Lake's most important industries. These brine shrimp are used to feed seafood and fish farms around the world, making them critical to the global food supply. Brine shrimp that thrive in the salty water can be harvested from large slicks full of eggs that float on the surface or pile up on the shore. But as the water level drops, the lake can become too salty, which disrupts the delicate ecosystem that supports the brine shrimp. Not only can this affect a valuable industry, it also reduces the availability of a crucial source of food that many migratory birds depend on. Another concern is dust from the exposed lake bed, which may contain unhealthy levels of fine particles. When the wind kicks up, this dust can impact the air that millions of people along the Wasatch Front breathe. And new research shows that, as the lake bed dries, microorganisms feed on the newly exposed organic matter. This, in turn, produces carbon dioxide and methane, gases known to be responsible for global warming. As all of these effects of a shrinking lake become evident, they act as warning signs of what can happen when we don't take care of this natural resource. So, the next time you look out over the Great Salt Lake, keep in mind that somewhere out there, its deepest point is just 25 feet.